Next up is timbre, which is going to get a little bit more subjective. Also called tone color, timbre is a term that describes the difference between two instrumental sounds, like why a trumpet sounds like a trumpet and doesn't sound anything like bagpipes. It's also a description of the quality of an instrument and the range in which it's playing. This is a description like it sounds dark, it's piercing, it's mellow and relaxed, it's tense, or even, holy cow, it sounds like an angry swarm of mutant cicadas about to break through my window. Changes in timbre occur by either using different instruments or changing the playing technique used on the instruments in a passage of music. And with the abilities unlocked with synthesizers and computers in the last century, composers now can theoretically create any timbre that they want, making this a really, really important factor in composition. Let's listen to a quick example, the same passage from the beginning, middle, and end of Bolero by Maurice Ravel, where different instruments have been added to create a gigantic shift in timbre over the course of the piece. As you can see, using different instruments has a profound effect on the overall timbre of a piece, so it's really important that we take a quick look at the various types of instruments available before we move on. Voices are the oldest instruments available, mostly because they're literally built into the human body. Until the mid 1600s, they were the primary type of music that composers wrote for due to the influence of the church and its ban on instruments in worship because they were too secular. The typical types of voice include soprano, mezzo soprano, alto and contralto for female voices, and countertenor, which is kind of rare, tenor, baritone, and bass for male voices. Other types exist and are occasionally called for in music, including a children's choir, basso profundo, boy soprano, and castrato. Instruments are divided into a classification of families based on how they produce sounds. The major ones are strings, which bow or pluck a string, causing it to vibrate, and include guitars, violins, mandolin, and bass. Woodwinds, which use a wooden reed to create vibrations when blowing across it, and include clarinet, saxophone, oboe, bassoon, and, even though it doesn't have a reed, the flute. Brass, which is characterized based on the material that they're traditionally made from, even though they all use a mouthpiece to carry vibrations from the performer's lips. These include the trumpet, French horn, trombone, and tuba. Percussion, which is anything that is hit to produce a sound. This can be of definite pitch, like the timpani, xylophone, marimba, or chimes, or indefinite, like drums, tambourine, cymbals, gongs, or woodblock. Keyboard instruments are actually a subset of percussion as they are played by striking a key that moves a hammer to hit strings or open stops. These are derived from the ancestor of the hammered dulcimer and include the harpsichord, piano, organ, celesta, and accordion. Electronic instruments are a really recent development going back to the development of the theremin in 1920 and have only really been used prominently post-World War II. They are the most versatile in terms of the timbres that they can produce, but are extremely challenging to play as well. They include instruments like the theremin, the Ans Martineau, synthesizers like the RCA Mark II, the Moog, the Buchla, and the Synclavier, the Digital Studio, the Tape Studio, digital audio workstations like Ableton Live, Logic, Reaper, and Pro Tools, and, since 1989, programming languages that allow the manipulation of audio in real time, like Max MSP, Pure Data, and Super Collider, all of which work on personal computers and don't require a gigantic mainframe. Because this is such a huge topic, I'm not going to play clips of each type of instrument, but instead recommend that you go and watch 
A Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra by Benjamin Britten, which explains everything but electronic instruments. And Silver Apples of the Moon by Morton Subotnick will cover that nicely. <laughs>